it virtually shut down the summer of 1949. Here we are 70 years ago and we're getting ready for summer vacations and going swimming and playing golf, seeing outdoor movies, going to music concerts. 70 years ago this month, that all changed. there was such an outbreak, an increase in cases of polio uh, that it terrified communities, it shut down communities, theaters closed, schools closed, swimming pools closed, street traffic was diminished, almost absence in every town. Nurses were, uh, for the very first time, in great demand. Uh, and uh, uh, there was a fear that everyone's child would live through the polio epidemic and not die. It was going to be so scary to survive the polio case that you might in endure and be strapped into a wheelchair in an iron lung, in some kind of machine, uh, in some sort of trapping that you certainly didn't want for yourself and you didn't want it for your children. So there was enormous fear. In addition to the external, the global dimensions of what happened in 49, there was the domestic issues. And uh, the cases of polio, which is a virus caused disease, that affects the gray matter of the spinal column and up the, to the brain stem. It restricts muscular uh, performance. Uh, if it gets up into the brain stem, it becomes known as bulbar polio, and it will restrict your ability to swallow, uh, your ability even to breathe. So the fear of having to go into an iron lung or choking to death uh, was so great that some people favored death over survival. Now that's great fear if we have that. St. Francis Hospital, which is now no longer where it was, but it was up on a little rise where there had been a civil war for it. Um, that hospital became the center of polio activities in southeast Missouri especially after the summer of 49 when Memphis hospitals and St. Louis hospitals were beset with a great number of uh, uh, polio patients. Consequently, Cape Girardeau had to tend to its own uh, patients. So St. Francis Hospital built an entire ward, 54 beds that they dedicated to polio patients and uh, they did not have enough nurses, so they flew nurses in from Boston. They flew in blankets, materials, all kinds of items that are needed, cribs uh, for children uh, that are going to uh, be used in that ward. Uh, Cape Girardeau became the center of polio treatment for Southeast Missouri. And by 1962, 1965, polio just dissipated. It was under control now. And there has not been a case of polio in the Cape Girardeau Hospital since 1966, I believe. But all of us today have benefited much from that. An event that focused on Cape Girardeau 70 years ago today.